Hello everyone, my name is Madhu Govindarajan and I'm going to show how I built this heart rate detector using an Arduino and MATLAB. Before we go into the details of this demo, I wanted to show a quick video. As you can see on the little screen here, the heart rate is displayed on the top left corner and the actual ECG signal and the filtered signal are displayed right in the middle of the screen here. Here is the heart rate of my colleague as he's not moving. All of a sudden it jumps to 125. What happened there? Oh, that's right, he started running on the elliptical machine and I wanted to show a quick side-by-side -side of the heart rate values predicted by the elliptical machine and the Arduino-based heart rate detector. So I'm using a heart and brain spiker shield to bring the ECG signal from the real world into Arduino. This shield is part of a bundle that is created by Backyard Brains. They make different hardware bundles and experiments that go with them, which makes understanding neuroscience concepts simple and fun. The TFT screen that I'm using allows me to plot the signals and display the heart rate value at the same time, and the Arduino that I'm using acts as the brain here. On the software side, I'm using MATLAB, Simulink, and the Simulink support package for Arduino, MATLAB Coder, and Fixed Point Designer. Let me go to MATLAB and show how all of this works. For those who are not familiar with MATLAB, it is a high-level programming language and comes with this desktop environment. I can type simple commands in the command window or run different functions here. So I'm using the built-in load function to bring in some data that I have in this MAT file. As a next step, I want to visualize the data that's available here. As you can see here, there are lots of built-in ways, but I'm gonna use the most basic one. This allows me to zoom in and out and see if the data looks as I expected it to be. Now let me introduce Simulink and show how I was able to test the algorithms on the Arduino. Simulink is a graphical programming environment which has libraries. These libraries have blocks that can be used to model and simulate dynamic systems and you can also use them to develop embedded algorithms. So when I downloaded the Simulink support package for Arduino, I got this library which contains blocks that allows me to communicate with different styles of sensors that are connected to an Arduino. So to build this whole model, I simply dragged and dropped different styles of blocks and changed some parameters here and there. The orange cable that we saw in the video is bringing in the ECG data as an analog signal to the Arduino at pin zero. As the next step, I brought in some existing MATLAB algorithms to do the filtering and to compute the heart rate by using these MATLAB function blocks. If you're interested in learning more about the algorithms that are being used here, search for QRS detector in the documentation. I'll talk about these two blocks later. I've commented them out. It is equivalent to commenting lines of code from a textual programming language. Next step for me would be to test this algorithm as the code is running on the hardware. For this, we have external mode in Simulink. It is a simulation mode that allows you to monitor data on the scope block as the code is running on the hardware. So when I press the play button, Simulink is generating the code equivalent for this model and it is compiling it into an executable and downloads it directly to the Arduino. The Arduino then sends the points of data that I'm probing serially back to Simulink and that is how I'm able to visualize it here. So I'm changing the inputs from the ECG simulator and we can see on the left screen the actual and the filtered ECG data and on the right hand side scope I have the heart rate value being displayed. Once you have tested your algorithm you can then use normal mode and deploy this code to an Arduino. What I mean by that is you can make your Arduino function independent of Simulink and the PC that it was connected to. So the video that we saw in the slides was using this Simulink model with these two blocks being uncommented. What these blocks do is they are using existing libraries to program the TFT screen and display the signals and the heart rate respectively. If you are interested in learning more about how to create your own Simulink block that can use existing libraries, then search for this video on mathworks.com. It's a great resource that shows how to build Simulink blocks from MATLAB and C++ libraries. The other way to integrate existing libraries with your algorithm is to use our coder products. You will generate the C code 
and then you can take this code to other IDEs and use it there. Here is an Arduino sketch that I created and in this I'm calling the functional equivalent of what we saw in the Simulink model and I created this using MATLAB Coder. I'm using this with existing TFT libraries to display the heart rate. Now here are some key points that I want you to go home with after watching this video. You saw how you can program Arduino boards using Simulink, but I want you to remember that you can also bring in existing MATLAB algorithms using MATLAB function block approach. We saw how you can monitor your algorithm's performance in the scope block using external mode. You can generate C code and integrate them with other existing libraries in two different ways. Last but not least, remember that you can regenerate your algorithms and use the code with other hardware as well. That's it. Thank you so much for your time and attention.